hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta. I come from Norway and I love makeup and today I'm actually going to film with the Nikki X Beauty Bay palette, which I got on a whim. The palette looks like this on the inside and it has quite a lot of like lighter bright shades but it does have a couple that are slightly deeper. I wish there were maybe a little bit more deeper shades here, but I do like the color story. And the shimmers seem to be very like wet and sparkly, which of course I love. So I was so excited to try this palette. I did already do some swatches of this palette, so I'll just leave those clips on here. And I'm also just going to live swatch the shimmers for you because I wanted to show them in a bit of a different lighting to show off all the shifts and the sparkliness of them. So here you see that I turned down the lighting a bit, but I am using my flash from my phone to light on the shadows. I just feel like that shows off the shifts and the sparkles a little bit better, so you can definitely see that there are some multi-dimensional sparkles in a lot of these shades. And you can definitely see on this one, I think that's called All In, the one I used on my inner corner, which we will see later. It has like a gold to green to pink shift which is just absolutely stunning the pink here has a blue shift and yeah they're just really sparkly and pretty so i'm just hoping that you can see what i am talking about when i am using this kind of light you can definitely see it on the eye in natural lighting as well but i just feel like this is the best way to show them when you do swatches so there you can see the shimmers and the normal swatches of the mattes. So I hope that you liked those. I feel like the shimmers are really, really gorgeous and stunning. And I did do a look before this one. So this is like my only my first impression on these exact shadows that I used. But I did use the pink right here and the white multidimensional shimmer and I did use them with glitter glue which made them crease a lot and today I just used my Mario Badescu spray to uh, moisten them up a little bit before applying and I don't have any creasing as of yet so hopefully that will also last the day <laughs> but if you want to see how I did this look that I'm wearing right here then please keep on watching so I have already used some of the pinks and the light blue, so I thought today maybe I will go for more like these colors. So my plan is to start with this one in the outer crease, this one in the inner crease, this one on the outer lid and this one on the inner lid because these shimmers are so beautiful. And I'll probably use this one to blend out the blue and maybe I'll use this bright light yellow to blend out the green, but we will just have to see. So I'm just starting with my Kaleidos Makeup S3 brush and picking up the blue shade. For my primer, I do have my NARS Smudge Proof eyeshadow base on. And it seems like this is really pigmented, so I'm excited to see how it blends out. I do have quite a bit of fallout, but for me that's no issue. I am just picking up the shade Plot Twist on this small brush from Kaleidos Makeup. It's their S5 brush and I'm just going to see how it will work to blend the blue. I feel like it might be a good shade to do that since it's like almost my skin tone, just a little bit more blue of course. I don't know how it looks on the monitor but it looks pretty good. It looks quite dry. <laughs> 
So I'm just going back in with that. I guess it's more of an indigo than a blue, but just going back in with that. Now I'm taking the green shade U and I'm just going to pack that on here. I feel like it's like some really bright colors that you put in this palette. So, I mean, instead of like a more foresty green or something that would have been maybe a bit more versatile for people, I should put this really like bright, slimy <laughs> blue green. I think it blends out nicely alone, so I don't know if I want to add that yellowy shade to blend out. And of course, I'm trying to overlap the two shades right here, not too much, but just slightly tapping them together. I feel like it's definitely not as bright and deep as in the pan. I'm just going to take basic trut because it's like a light, almost skin tone color. So I'm just going to use that to blend this. I'm just going to try to intensify that indigo because I feel like they're looking a little bit sheer. So I'm hoping I can build up that color a little bit. As I said, I will now be going in with this one on the outer lid and this one on the inner lid. And because when I used the pink and the white one the last time, I had major creasing going on because I used glitter glue. Because as you know, I always use glitter glue with my shimmers, but these are like so wet. So I just decided to use my Mario Badescu facial spray just to moisten up the shadows so they're easier to apply and then it will dry down quite fast. So that's what I decided to do. I am really hoping that this will prevent creasing and of course when you're using a moist brush you want to be careful not to like drag the brush uh, above where you want the shimmer to be just because that will maybe like lift the matte shade that you have in the crease so you might get patchiness. Of course you can still go in and reapply some of the blue or the indigo. <laughs> but it's better if you like just try to apply this a little bit more neat. And I'm using a little bit of a smaller brush for the shade All In, which seems to be a little bit more chunky than uh, Mr. Tutorials is, but it looks so, so stunning. So if this one doesn't crease, it's going to be one of my favorite shades in this palette, I think. So this is how it is looking this far and I am really enjoying how it does look. I feel like the indigo is really vibrant. I wish the green was a little bit more vibrant even though it did apply nicely, it didn't, did blend nicely. It just feels a little bit sheerer than the indigo because I feel like the indigo is actually quite opaque. So I'm just going to finish off the rest of my face makeup and we'll go ahead and do the lower lash line. I basically just finished off my face makeup. I did use my Jouer Sunswept uh, bronzer and then I used my Skywalker highlighter from Kaleidos Makeup. I guess this is the right way. <laughs> and also I used my Low Five Peach blush from Kaleidos Makeup. So both of those from Kaleidos Makeup were gifted to me. Uh, and now I'm ready to do my lower lash line. And I feel like this look also already is quite bright, so I think I will just uh, use this uh, indigo shade for my lower lash line and then I'll go ahead and probably use this one to try another shimmer for my lower lash line as well. And I'm also going to try to use this one for my inner corner. So I'm just taking Amsterdam on my Kaleidos Makeup S5 brush and I'm just going to connect with the upper part of my eye. I'm probably going to blend this like right below my crease here. A wrinkle, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but I feel like this might be a case of not over applying because I feel like the more I apply, the more it keeps lifting off. So I'm just going to try to not go over that most opaque part anymore. Now I'm just taking plot twist and I'm just going to add that to try to get just this light blend. I just picked up a bit of the shade underground and I'm going to apply that right here. I did spray it with my Mario Badescu spray so hopefully it will apply nicely. Using another small flat brush and just did the same with the shade Ivy. I just sprayed it with some Mario Badescu spray and I'm going to just apply that 
right here to lighten up the inner corner. So I feel like this is basically my finished look. I might work a little bit extra on the blending right here, but I'm just going to finish off the rest of my makeup and I'll show you the close up. So this is how my finished look turned out. I ended up just using my Kaleidos Makeup Lucid Lip in Mesmerize because I'm going to work and I didn't want to put on any lipstick. And I do feel like that it matches my eye look because it's quite neutral. And I do think that these shadows did apply really nicely. I feel like they're very like opaque on my eyes, except for maybe the green is not super opaque, but it did apply really nicely. And the indigo really surprised me because it blended out really nicely and it's very buildable and opaque once you have built it up. So I just really enjoy these shadows this far and I'm really excited to try them a little bit more. And I feel like the price point is just so good on this palette because you get so many shades. And as of now, the quality seems to be really good as well. And usually I do like the Beauty Bay formula. I did not like the palette uh, of the pastels that much, but those were just, like they weren't bad, they were just a little bit more sheer. But anyway, that is my first impression of this palette. I hope that you liked this video and that the swatches were helpful. If you did like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of tutorials and a lot of content with single shadows. So if you're interested in that, then that's what my channel is mostly about. But that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!